Good morning, everybody. Ah, uh, it is going to be, well, partly cloudy, partly sunny today, but it's supposed to be warm enough where it's comfortable, and that's okay. I got my jacket with me, though. I needed it earlier. So I came in here, and I did a pour, but I don't like it at all, so I'm not even going to show it, because I don't like it <laughs> at all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you make mistakes, and you have to deal with it, and then you fix it next time. Anyhow, uh, regarding, I know a lot of people have asked me about the houseboat and all that. Well, it's going to be, it'll be a week before we get the boat here. And maybe a little over a week. And then we have to decide exactly how we're going to do it. We are seriously, seriously thinking about finding one of those slide-ins that go on a truck. You know, those camper slide-ins. Because it would fit really good inside the boat. Um, we're thinking about getting some barrels and put on the side so that we can extend out a little bit more and be balanced out. Um... But it would be a lot simpler to do it this way than it would be if we went ahead and built it from the ground up. So, I don't know yet exactly how we're going to do it. But when we start doing it, we will show you what's going on as it's going on. And uh, I'm hoping that by summertime... I'm giving it three, four months max. Maybe by April we'll be able to get out there on the water. Um, we've been watching a lot of videos and how they go about doing this and that and the other. And it's all interesting. It's not that we're going to follow that, but it gives us ideas. And that's one of the main things. One of the things that I'm most concerned about is how to get my babies <laughs> out there you know hmm, to do their business so of course we're gonna have like a little dinghy or something like that alongside the boat because we'll, we'll need that no matter what I mean let's face it the vehicles will not be with us <laughs> so we will be out there and we will be on our own and as far as getting to places where we might be able to get food, there's a lot of little towns along the waterway, so we're not that concerned about it. But again, that's another research we have to do because we've got to know where they're at and uh, just a lot of things that we have to really research before we get out on the water. But it's going to be a different type of nomadic lifestyle. And it is a nomadic lifestyle. I mean, I don't care whether you're, what kind of vehicle you're in. It's still nomadic. And it's still, you're out there and you are going from place to place. Uh, maybe sometimes we'll stay at a place for a week, maybe a couple of days. But the thing that, I am seeing that it's awesome is that it is a much slower pace than what I've done because when you're in a vehicle on land you are going from A to B and hold on one second Noah is coming over and I gotta pause this a minute okay now Noah was just tapping on the window to let me know it's time for lunch. I didn't realize it was that time already. Hmm. Time flies by. But anyway, when you're on land, you're going from point A to point B. And you're driving through. And you're not really seeing a lot of things. With You're concentrating on that road and not seeing what's out there because you've got to go a certain speed. But when you're on a boat, that speed can go five miles an hour and you can and you can even drift at times depending on you know how the water is running but you 
you get to see things. You get to see a lot of the wildlife on the sides. You get to see areas that you never even imagined were there. And you get to stop at a lot of them. Explore it. Um, it it's just a, a different way to travel where you're not in no hurry. Everything's going to be slow. And of course, it's going to be boring because I'm one of these, I, let me get there. But I want to slow my life down because that's the way I've always lived my life. In a hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. And there's a lot of things I missed out on and I did not enjoy. So this is a new nomadic lifestyle, a new adventure for me, for Noah. And for my babies, like I said, my main concern is trying to figure out how we're going to get them on land to do their business at least twice a day because they go twice a day. Certain things they go twice a day. But uh, that's the one thing that I really have to concentrate on because you know how I am about my babies. They're, they come first in my life. <laughs> they definitely do. So anyway, uh, as we plan and change our plans and change our plans because they're going to change a lot of times uh i will show you and i will let you know what it's like also if y'all have any um any kind of ideas that you could throw out at me i'd be glad to hear it and i'd be glad to see if it's going to work for us or not you know because I appreciate your comments and I also appreciate your ideas. One last thing. <laughs> what is your New Year's resolution going to be? <laughs> right. Well, I never keep mine. I always make New Year's resolutions and I know I'm not going to keep them. But it's fun to say, oh, I'm going to do this or that. A lot of people keep them. I don't. Maybe because I'm so flaky. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, peace. Hugs. Love. Share. Like. Comment. Subscribe.